Hey, so this is gonna be Zapier 101. Zapier is a automation tool that can be used for sales outreach, reporting, marketing automation. It's kind of like the digital glue that holds a lot of things together. So I'm gonna show you the basics of Zapier. All right, so let's just jump into it. You might be intimidated to kind of get into Zapier, but really at, at its core, it's an if this, then that. And it has two main components. It has a trigger, which is something happens in, in the software number one. And then when that happens, if that happens, you want something to happen somewhere else. So the easiest one for me that I use is Calendly. So, and this is, this is pretty easy for you to visualize. So if someone books a new call with me, right? So we're going to say, okay, if something happens in Calendly, I want to, I like to pull that data out into a Google sheet. For example, I have, this is done through Zapier. Everyone who books a call with me, I have it automatically take that data and throw it into this sheet. So this is my monthly sheet. I then have that data running into another tab that's kind of collating this, like how many for what event, for what account manager, but the name of the person, their email, the type of event they booked, who they booked it with, what time it is, and what source that was, we asked them that. All of that information is caught by what's called the zap or the hook, and then you tell it where to go. So in this case, I'm telling it to go to Google Sheets. So here, the two basic components is on the trigger event, what app or software kicks things off, and then what event within that you want to trigger it. So for here, it's gonna be invitee created. So a new event is created. And then what do I want it to do? in my second app, which is Google Sheet, which is I want it to actually create a new spreadsheet row. We're not gonna jump into the actual step-by-step -step yet of how I pull all that information into those different rows. That's gonna be on the next one. But I just wanted to give you a basic idea of what Zapier is, what it can do, and the basic interface here. So some of the other common ones would be if there's a new event on your calendar, you could pull that into your Google Sheet. One of the things that I love doing we had about 210 active clients and we were using Trello as a CRM. And I had probably a hundred hours of, of automation built into my Trello board so that each movement of the card, someone, someone would purchase and it would automatically send them an email. And that was done through Zapier. So what I did was our trigger event was pay kickstart, which was our, which was our payment page, pay kickstart. And then I would send them an email or Gmail. So purchase happens, they automatically get an email with an intake form. Then the next thing is, oops, I don't know why I'm typing intake form, Google form completion, then triggers another email, but also triggers a Trello card that's created. With all the information that's in the intake form, you can create a card on Trello or a task in your to-do on Basecamp or send a Slack message. So each of these automation, each of these actions can trigger another action. Then after the intake form is complete, which was given to them through automation, they complete it. It creates a Trello board, a Trello card on the board. It can assign that to someone, set a due date and put it in a specific pile. Then when that person's done with that card, because it's been assigned to them, they complete that or they move it to the next card. That movement of a Trello card from one list to another can trigger another to do. It can trigger an email to the client, letting them know the status. Hey, we've just completed the copy. It, things are now moving on to the graphic designer. It can also change assignees and update the, the due date. So we actually used those movements. We actually used it through the life cycle as well. Client renews the renewal triggers a to-do to move a card. We grab their card, we move it to the next month. That also triggers an update to a check-in to the client, another to-do on our side. Each of those little actions can trigger a reaction and it's all held together through Zapier. So Zapier is one of our most powerful tools that we use. It's very scalable as an agency. We were using, I think, 30,000 tasks on Zapier.
Some of the other common use cases is for billing. So for new purchases, for renewals, for refunds, for cancellations, they should all trigger either just data points or tasks. You can also look at using it for email. So if new email addresses are added onto a list, that can automatically add those into an email drip. If someone fills out a LinkedIn lead gen form, that can on automatically fill into a Google Sheet. It can also add them into an email drip. We use it for customer, customer lifecycle reporting and onboarding are the main things we use it for, but there's pretty much an endless amount of uses for it. So that's just the basic overview and intro for Zapier. If you enjoyed that, we do have a pretty good YouTube channel. You can head on over and subscribe to there. Just look us up Pactable on YouTube.